All right, guys, I'm ready for the next video. Should we grab another guitar to unbox? No, we are not boxing. I've got one here ready, just like that, <laughs> off camera. Now look at is that. that not what I think it is? at all. What even is that? It is a sewer. A sewer. Yeah. Anyway, I know about these. Do you? What do you know about them? I've heard of them. We've had two before, I think. Yes, we have had two. And yeah, I've seen them. And we'll find out more after this intro. <laughs> Welcome back to oh, another say, video. Say that again. Say that again. What? Say that again so everyone can hear because the know intro about was these. I've seen two. Yeah. <laughs> I know about the. I know about these. I've seen two. I've actually seen a lot more down at Project Music, actually. Uh, but that was a long time ago. And you sound I sound like you're impressed. talking about boobs. I, I know about these. I've seen two. I've seen two. <laughs> seen two. Two individuals. So, so there we go. As you can see by the case, we of course have a Sir, uh, Monsieur John Sir, uh, from Fender, right? Was originally. I think. Um, that was the vibe. So now makes luxurious. What was, uh, I would say, super high-end guitars, but now PRS and every other company in the world has inflated their prices through the roof. These Ooh. actually seem like really good value. Um, For a handmade, quite unique guitar. In well. the UK right now, these are retailing at Peach uh, 36. Um, we picked this one up, it's a 2017 model. Um, yeah, we've literally, we, unbo we unboxed it because it was in a box with many guitars. Uh, so Dan's got this one ready. Um, should we just plug it in? And What's just it look like? I'm just going to say, it, before yeah. even plugging this in, this is just instantly really playable. Like, you just get it out of the case, put it in your hand, the next shape, you literally can't help just it's nice. Well, I haven't seen it. it. <laughs> so sorry <laughs> for noodling like? over you, I, just, I couldn't help it. Go. I'll have a look, look at it first. Oh, lovely weight. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a cool looking top. Take it for a walk, Andy. Go show the camera. Give it some, give it some. Up, back up, up a bit, up, up a bit, up, up a bit, up a bit. Special up a bit. effects, special effects. Spin it, spin it, twist it, twist it. Twist myself. Watch that knee. <clears throat> yeah, I've got to watch the old knee. The lack of cartilage is rocked out, apparently. It's cool. Oh, it's got four bolts. It's got the full four. That's nice. That's a lovely flush fit, fit that. That's is nice. It? Yeah, it's nice. They haven't bothered mounting this flush. Which is interesting because they did do this. That's what I mean. There I must don't, be a reason for that. There must be a reason because it's a good guitar make. I don't like that. That jars me a little bit because it's like it doesn't match. But that's just me. I mean, that's, there's probably a reason, so that's cool. But wow. Do you reckon like people don't have them on? Yeah, probably. But still, I'd rather see that What's counter that? sunk. You know what I mean? Well, obviously that flush it's like three that. Three and a half grand, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably rather see that flush. There's a little point knocked off there for sure. Ooh, these are nice. I like the fast knobs. Yeah, I like this. Ooh, as well. low yeah. tension knobs. Switch yeah. feels good. That's yeah, rubbish. I think it's, it's good. I don't yeah. know if a fast knob's always good. But it's control got Andy, control Andy's breaking it. Right, switch tips off. That's another point knocked off. <laughs> Is that a Garant job to put that back on? No, I just get a bit of super glue and splash it around. Uh, frets, as always, on Shures. I absolutely love these stainless that's frets. Perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Probably put that tip back on before we lose it. Yeah, it's a good idea, Sam. Let's, let's put it back on. Yeah, it's, um, it's gorgeous. Hold it still, Andy. Hold it still. Since you got it. Can we do this? What, two people put a switch tip on? That's nice. Cool. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's great. Um, I love these. I mean, we've had a couple before. Um, this one is the Plus, so the modern Plus. It's the, the Her Sir Her version. So you've got double Hers, but extra Her, um, and the single coil in the middle, which I'm not going to lie, is not the way I'd have it. I like a Her Sir Sir because mm. I like the single coil up here by the neck. Um, but. It looks cool. It looks very does it, versatile. Does it split? No, it doesn't split. It's got a five-way five switch. Way? Yeah. So, so you reckon that's humbucker? Humbucker, probably out of phase splitting. In between. Yeah. I like the out of phase single coil sound. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's kind of got some of the sounds you would want out of it. So it's got to be. Let's see if I can look it up. Machine. Um, I'll plug it in while you look it up. Nice, you go, nice. Andy. You can have a noodle. I've noodled the last couple. Um, it's going to lube up I'm a little actually, bit. I'm having noodles for dinner. Hey! So, yeah, Noodledge! Noodle have, sandwich. Probably have a ramen. Oh, I love a ramen. Yeah, noodle sandwich. That's such a university thing. Um, it's probably in tune-ish, so I'll just, I'll just turn it on for you. Oh, it's bright. That's very bright. <laughs> Thin strings. Yeah. 
Very bright. Wow, that's the neck pickup. Wow, that is cool. That sounds so like bright. a single coil. Yeah, it does. Is that the, are you on the four now? No, I'm just the taking the volume down? down. Take the volume back up a little bit and just go to that four position. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> What's the um, single ball like? Very bright. That is so bright. That's <laughs> that is already a lot better than I expected. So that is the um, the middle pickup is the V60 LP. Um, the V60 obviously is made to sound like a 60s, a 1960 single coil. In my Strat that I built myself, I put these uh, um, 63 set, and they are amazing pickups. I love this. Do you want to plug this in clean, Andy? I don't need to. This, it literally That's clears first. it. This is such a good guitar because you can actually... I mean, OK, it's a bit of overdrive, but that is like... Then just one click. Then just wow! Fun. I that am impressed good. with that. I am very impressed. That is yeah. very, very, very bright. But wow, what a, what a tone! Well, that's kind of stainless steel frets and quality yeah, pickups. Yeah, like, yeah. It's got a lot going on. It's definitely um, got a treble bleed cap in there because as you roll it back, it's and it's a very, very good one. And we're plugged into a '66 Pro. <laughs> It's got the uh, compound radius fretboard as well, so it goes from a 10 to a 14, so... Oh, that's like me after a um, few beers. What? Everything goes from a 10 to a 14. <laughs> it means you get that vintage feel down here, like more of a traditional strap, slightly traditional 10-inch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what era of Fender was it? <laughs> just, 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 just take me through that, girl. It's was, not a 12. I was just the old classic 10-inch. I was just like... <laughs> There's nothing classic. There's nothing classic it's about closer to the, It's closer to it's the five nine. Five or six was average. Seven, three quarters. I mean, it's I think, something like that. seven inches. Something. I something. think we're talking about something different here. Oh right. It's closer to the nine that fades. Um, <laughs> and then well, it goes all the way up to a traditional, fourteen. Mate. Traditional ten. <laughs> traditional where I come from. It's a traditional <laughs> ten. <laughs> and the traditional stainless steel press. <laughs> That sound good. It's cool. It's definitely very. There's a lot of clarity in there. There's it's a it lot. Sounds good. It's, it squeals as well. It's like a squealy. It's like it's out of Dan's <clears throat> traditional ten. Yeah, I'm quite. I mean, I should be impressed. It's a damn expensive guitar. But nice bit of flame it's maple. To a good. It's a good bit of kit. Nice bit of flame maple to the neck. Um, yeah, oh yeah. That's the kind of it's. It. <coughs> it's subtle. It's the kind of thing that if you oiled it, that would just pop straight out. Uh, basswood body, basswood, basswood, however you want to oh, say it. basswood. So a similar kind of thing you get to like Music Man's, that kind of stuff. Mm. Maple top on there. Um, depending on the age of it, like this. 17. This looks like a rosewood fretboard. Modern ones, if you buy them new, have gone down the Poe Faro route, which, yeah. What? Which um, I've never been a fan of the Poe Farrell stuff. I'm not either. I was not joking. That, no, that, that was just <laughs> suggesting no, that it was a joke. No, um, yeah, Poe Farrell, I've never been a... Who's Poe Farrell? Who's Poe Farrell? Isn't he that guy out of Pirates in the Caribbean? Yeah. No, that's, What's he doing on Fretboard? You're thinking of the runner, Mo Farrell. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, <he's>, um, <laughs> what's, he got? What's, he, what's he doing? The, oh, um, cool, yeah, yeah. Poe Farrell is like, it's supposed to be like rosewood, but it just feels really dry. Um, yeah, and it's got that really light brown colour, like the SRV stuff. Yeah. Where everyone's like, oh yeah, but it's fine if you oil it. Yeah, it's fine for five minutes if you oil it, and then it goes back to being pale and. Is that dry. your answer to everything? Just oil it. Yeah, oil it. Sand Just it. Oil it. Oil sand it. it. Oil it. You need to. Bit of gunstock oil, oil on there. It's a classic ten inch. You got to oil it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Traditional oiled ten inch. Um, <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what. I am instantly. I have to say, I am 
pleasantly surprised because although my expectations were very high because we've had some serves before, um, they've I'm not going to say they've been hit and miss, but like they've not been they've not blown my mind no, that way. And no. this actually oh, is incredible. All it's got of a sudden, unbelievable top on it. Well, it's just like nothing else. It I, is like I, I nothing can't else. say yeah, it's yeah. nothing like a PRS. No, it's not. It's no. nothing like a Fender Custom Shop. It's its own beast, and it is. I hate to say this, but it is an amazingly versatile <laughs> studio tool. Yeah, because <laughs> it actually has cracking humbucker sounds. That middle pickup was almost getting close to like neck sounds as well mm. with the woodiness. I don't think it, I don't think it's that versatile only because on the bridge pickup it's it's a million miles away from a Les Paul. It hasn't yeah, got that mid-range Yeah, but for recording dump. just rock tones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah it does. If you if you're literally walking into a studio session and you've got no idea what you're doing that day and you just want to take one the guitar case, um, then you know this this is literally going to cover 90% of bases. Yeah, um, cool. for, for recording anyway, if you want a traditional teletone, it's not going to do tele because it's not got the... I don't think it's far away, to be honest. When you wind that volume down on the bridge, it gets pretty twangy. Yeah, it's I good. reckon it could do tele easier than it could Les Paul. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's not, it's not mid-rich, that's for sure. But, but then again, I have no problem with that. because recording I, do, wise, I just spend yeah. my life recording and then just zapping mids out of tones. Yeah, exactly. So, so I reckon it's not an issue. Great. It's also got a little flam on the old headstock on the front there. A little, a little bit of flame, oh, um, yeah. which is cool. Um, I like it. It's really right. cool. Listen, we need to wrap this up because we've been chatting. Um, Dan, hang on, let me time this. Ready? Eight point five. Ooh, spicy. That's, that's got a top mark. Um, I am giving it seven because I'm not too keen on the fact they haven't bothered countersinking the back plate. Someone might correct me in the comments that that's meant to be that for a reason. If so, I retract my comment. And I don't like the fact that three and a half grand the switch it flies off the first time I play it. That really annoys me. That shouldn't happen. It's so, not brand new though, so you can't blame that on sure. I know. That, is, that could be a switch tip can come off any guitar if it hasn't been looked after properly. All right, well, we've, we've got a 71 year old Les Paul down there, and I've got a 60 year old Les Paul at home that's nothing's ever come off it. But they screw, in all that they time. screw on. You I'm just going to say. Easily right. knock, you can easily knock one off a vintage telly. All right, but fair still, enough. Yeah. Still, you know what I mean. Now it's a modern guitar. Push the switch tip on properly, like that's. I reckon. I, I reckon I can still see that off then. Anyway, that said, that said, that, these are minor points, but at that price point, there should, there's no excuses. Yeah. Um, I'm giving it. A, yeah, I think. What did I say? You said seven and a half. Seven and a half. I think yeah. that's good. It's a great guitar. It's got its own sound, which is very rare nowadays to find a guitar that goes, oh, what? That is different. Yeah. So I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm to be honest. I'm banging between you guys. I'm gonna go seven, seven, seven Solid. Point seven. Because good mark. I think. The, the most intriguing part for me is the fact that I genuinely don't have a guitar that makes that sound. Yeah, that's it so for me as well. really cool. Out of everything really we got here, that, that is the only one that does that. I think right. the cool thing for me with this is the more you look at it, the more like backplate not being recessed. Like maybe there's a tonal thing with that that they don't want to put the backplate in the woods because it's a big piece of plastic. Or, although obviously you've got the control costs. things, but... The, the amount of care and the little things like the rolled fretboard edges That's and nice. the compound radius fretboard, the Goto bridge, which has been machined beautifully, the amount of love and care that's gone into making this is, um, is just a level above like custom shop strats, all that stuff. Not okay, talking I'm like right. relic custom shop strats, but like master built strats and all that kind of stuff. This is just a step above all of it. Do you reckon? I don't think yeah. so. I wouldn't, oh, agree with I, I wouldn't say I it's do. a touch on custom shop like a master built stuff. I don't think it's in that world, but I do think it's as good as a call line PRS. And a call line yeah, PRS yeah. right now is five hundred pounds more than that wow. for a non ten. Mass produced. And that has an insane top yeah, rate and it's in mass comparison. Produced. Yeah, that's. I don't know how much they produce, but I know PRS is. You could argue, obviously, though, that that bolt on neck and all that stuff yeah, versus the more expensive set neck of a PRS. Yeah, definitely. But you're definitely. <laughs> <coughs> Tom Sorry. Anderson's are a lot more expensive though, and they've got yeah. they've got two bolts on the neck. You, you're looking definitely like up there in terms of build quality. Yeah, it's amazing. There we go. We've had That's our cool. scores. We've had a chat. There we go. We've done it. Thanks, guys. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Drop us a comment. If um, we get pretty much every guitar come through here, you can imagine. So if there's anything you're interested in, then um, although we do try to unbox these live and show them off and have it a bit more spontaneous. Um, if there's something you'd be interested in seeing, feel free to drop a comment and we will try and dig one out. Um, until next time, have a great one and we'll see you in the next video. Woo!